Hello everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. Which way am I going? I'm going straight. Y'all know I'm always driving when I'm recording because it's the only time I have personal time to say what I want to say and so on and so forth. So I'm going to just jump right into it. Ain't about to waste your time around here. Go hit these raggedy roads in the background. You know I'm in Baltimore City. <laughs> so as you can tell by the title, this is going to be about uh, consequences and karma. Let's talk about it. <laughs> the elephant in the room. Consequences and karma. I know a lot of people don't believe in that, but there can be good and bad karma. But with consequences, it usually comes some sort of, uh, I'm not going to say bad karma, but what I'm going to say is lessons, okay? Let's just call it what it is. Because part of the reason I suffer from the things I suffer from is because of decisions I made, which led to consequences, which led to me receiving lessons in karma. And particularly having my oldest son. And The circumstances under which he was conceived were not good intentions. Well, yeah, you know, just irres being irresponsible, I'll call it what it is, because that's what it is, it's being irresponsible and immature and making decisions without thinking about the consequences which I have done often in my 20s which I'm sure a lot of us have but the thing of it is is because half the population are depressed and have anxiety and PTSD and some of it is childhood based yes because some of mine is childhood based but it also come from adulthood if I would have stayed on the path and the journey of staying in college and finishing college or at least finishing one of the many trade schools that I went to like I would get all the way to the end and then I would create some distraction which is a man um, to throw me off the journey like and so those decisions I can't blame them no on nobody but myself and then so the consequences are my life isn't where I would want it or like it to be before I had children. Like, you're supposed to bring your children into a stable home environment where you're able to nurture them and give them the best structure and love and, you know, I'm, I'm not about to continue with the, with the synonyms, but y'all get it. And when you make these decisions with certain people that you don't really know you're going to get karma for that like part of your life is going to become stagnant part of your life you're going to be depressed because you bought this human into this world and you weren't prepared and now you have to struggle a lot of single mothers have to struggle a lot of single mothers can't work a regular eight hour job um, a lot of single mothers are, are unable to get advanced education. Like, I pretty much have given my life over to raising children. And anything that I want to pursue will have to come later in life. And that's a hard pill to swallow. It's a hard pill to swallow knowing that you brought somebody into this world with a person that you hardly knew and over time as you got to know them you realize that they don't appreciate you they don't um is i'll say this if you're not 
feeding into being a yes person and always being there. Like I realized my relationship with this said person was based on me being a yes person. Like me always being there and always saying yes whenever this person needed something. And I have, I do have a problem with saying no. I and and it, it I, we can contribute to a, a, a lot of things, but I'm ultimately I just want everybody to be happy. And I know it's not my responsibility. I know that now. I didn't know that when I was in my twenties that it was my responsibility. I thought it was my responsibility to have everyone that come into contact with me to be happy, to not be a problem maker, to be a good person so it forced that way of thinking I didn't create healthy boundaries I'll say that and so it followed me into my adult life and that's why y'all see me like when y'all see me posting videos and I'm spazzing out that is because I have reached my limit of what I can take I have reached my limit of keep on taking 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 from people and it's it's like why can't I just be a loving, giving, kind, considerate, uh, emotional, intelligent, um, I, 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 beautiful, smart, um, that, that cares so much about people that she'll give the clothes off her back, the shoes off her feet, and don't ask nobody for nothing and don't look for no recognition. Why can't I just be that person? Why do I have to be mean to people when they're mean to me? Like, why do I have to give people the same energy they give me, which I hardly ever do, but when it's warranted, I do. Like, the 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 conservative side versus the ghetto side of me like y'all know y'all see me i can be that like i can be ghetto i can be ignorant i can but do i like to be that person no i like the conservative intelligent brandy i like the brandy that studies everything that she wants to know that loves on her children that loves anybody that come into her circle who always shines her light for everyone to see and and inspires people like why i can't be that just be that person no i can't be that person all the time to everyone because people take advantage of that people take advantage of me and then it, because i'm such a nice forgiving uh, a person uh, I'm just like whatever like that's people oh, oh I make excuses like oh you're maybe they're going through something and, and you know uh, trying to explain it away and try to make it make sense and the whole time some people are just pieces of shit like some people just pieces of shit and I just happen to get caught with one that I have to deal with until my child reaches reaches a certain age of where he can be uh, free to, to to be himself and not under the thumb of a person who has narcissistic tendencies. Because whenever you tell them you can't do something for them, it's a problem, and they want to take you to child support. Like this whole time, like I, I'm just realizing that no matter how much I was not the negative baby mother stereotype, I still got his ass to kiss. When, to be honest, like to to be to be told that basically you're not good enough. And that's something that I'm here to heal. I am constantly bombarded with men who treat me like I am not good enough. No matter what I do, no matter who I became, no matter how I changed my hair and stopped wearing weave, no matter if I was a housewoman and cooked and cleaned and washed the funky drawers, it did not matter what type of woman I was, I still got men who put on a facade and showed me one thing when in reality it was all because of who I was to them. And I'm having this conversation with y'all because it, I, 
I am I have done some some shit I'm not gonna sit up here and be like oh I'm just this perfect being who don't deserve nothing bad happen to them that's an S and I would never say that but I can literally count how many things bad things I did to people and wouldn't even make it to my toes y'all I wouldn't even make it to my toes because I have been such a good person to everybody who comes in my freaking path I don't care what I'm going through you're not going to get my no attitude from me in public when I go to school I'm social even when I'm, I'm cramping and I'm in pain every single day because of my ailments that I do not have a diagnosis for and I'm still suffering on a daily basis and no medication is helping me with what I have going on right now i do another video about that but it's like I get no sympathy or empathy from the menace in my life I am supposed to overwork myself which I have done which is why I'm in the position I'm in now and my body is deteriorating my bones are deteriorating because I will go seven days ten days straight working my ass off and because the people around me, the men in my life, couldn't see it for themselves because they weren't in my house with me. They couldn't see that I was working, even living with the person I'm living with now. I was doing seven days, no days off. I'm in school five days a week and I'm working two days on the weekend. No break. The only reason I took a break because my body forced me to take a break and it started breaking down on me, which means I can't work. And the men in my life who I've been there for unconditionally, no matter how they treated me, as soon as I need, uh, 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 as soon as I need, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, 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 um, what is it called, y'all? As soon as I need, uh, 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 I can't as soon as I can't do as much as I used to do is being an overworking slave to society so that I can provide a roof over my head for my children I'm not good enough like people want to see me hospitalized if I'm not hospitalized then I'm not doing enough I was supposed to get my prescription and I gotta turn around <laughs> because I'm so pissed off because like it's like if people don't see how you doing they don't care what you say they think you lying when I tell the person I'm living with that my body is breaking down because I overworked myself when I was overweight I exercised I overworked myself I overworked myself in industry they don't believe me I get no sympathy or empathy. And these are the, this is the karma. Because of a decision I made when I was 27 years old, 26 years old, 26. Because of a decision I made when I was 26 year old with my oldest son forward. This, I have to deal with this person who does not see me as an asset to his life. Whenever this person needs to go out of town, I'm there for my child. Whenever this person need a favor in general, when it involves me breaking my schedule and my routine to have to be there for the primary parent of my child, you don't see that? I was the, I'm, I, I, you know what? The, the, I be so delusional sometimes and I give people way more way more um leeway and, and benefit of the doubt like and, and, and I can't help being who I am I refuse to let society and people make me out to be a mean horrible person who just harbored all of her feelings and take it out on the world because of how the world treated her like I feel like that's what I'm being like pushed to do like why can't it just be nice genuine people who don't manipulate people who don't manipulate men who don't try to get over on people who are just genuinely nice 
people why are we a commodity why do they try to make us be something mean i don't want to be a mean person i don't want to be an ugly person to, and to people i don't want to treat people like shit i don't want to give him the same energy he's giving me but i feel like he i should I feel like I should because I was deceived and I and and I really thought that this was a successful uh, uh relationship but it was all based on me saying yes all the time me saying sure I'll do that you need me to do this sure I'll be there I'll do this I'm always that person but when I need it done for me the only persons that ride for me is my two sisters not none of the men that's in my life. So these are the consequences for my decisions I made to have a child by this man 13 years ago. And now I am paying for it now and I'm going to continue to pay for it. And now it causes me to be, I have anxiety, I have depression, I have PTSD from childhood trauma and adult trauma over a decision I made. And that's what people don't want to talk about like I have to suck it up and be strong so that the world and these people in my life do not break my soul and I hope a lot of y'all understand that this is what this world is meant we make decisions and we have to deal with the consequences in the best way that we can without cracking without making without turning into a whole mean ass evil end of it almost went this whole video without cursing <laughs> individual because that is not I don't listen y'all i refuse to let people break me i might cry about it i might be upset about it i might make a youtube video about it but i refuse to let this world and let men break my soul.